Hey guys, Daniel here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make charge creepers and charge creeper spawners. So, here's a spawner, and at first I'm going to show you how to spawn charge creepers just normally, just with the slash summon command, and then I'm going to show you how to make the spawners like this one here. So I'll be right back. Okay guys, I'm back, and this is how you do it. So, here's the command right here, and, oh, oops, I'm on peaceful. Okay. And it, as you see, it will spawn a charged creeper. And they are very powerful, especially if you're in hard. So I'm going to spawn a bunch of them here. You can see I did that earlier. <laughs> so, yeah, it's pretty cool. Make sure you put these things here. If you don't know how to make those, it is if you're on your keyboard. If you're not using the number pad, it's just the numbers right above all the letters, then it's that the key right on the left of the one you hold shift down you press it and you can make this if you don't press hold down shift it'll just look like this like a backwards apostrophe so yeah now I'm going to show you guys how to make the spawners okay guys here is the command it's right there if you want to see it in the command block here it is okay so see these coordinates here if I'm gonna okay I'm gonna explain this a little bit better in a second. So slash set block and then your coordinates. Minecraft colon mobs mob underscore spawner because that is the type of block we want. Zero replace. But this is what's different than what you usually do to make a mob spawner. Okay, so entity ID creeper, but then instead of closing it right here like this, you add comma and then spawn data and then colon and then you want to put powered one just like we did earlier right here see powered one in the chat okay so these right here so if I go ahead and do this okay I'm going to stand right here slash set block and then I'm going to put these squiggly things. That means that it's going to put it right where you are. Or if it's you're putting it into a command block, it'll replace the command block with it. Okay, um, Minecraft mob spawner zero replace entity ID. So this is what you'd probably be doing if you're making an adventure map or something. Just put these and stand in the place you want it, it'll appear at your feet, not your head. Creeper, comma, spawn data, and then, powered one. And there you go. S now we got a charge creeper spawner. Okay, again, very important, these mean it's going to replace it. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what I mean by that. But you probably already guessed what I mean by that. But if I do slash set block and then I put the squiggly on to set the coordinates. Then Minecraft mob spawner zero replace um, entity ID Creeper Okay. Now it'll replace it just like that. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Please comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.